we do anything and how many cars we have everybody have at least one car nowadays in every family and uh, if we change if we will not use this car and we use the public transport see how much pollution we can decrease if we use the public car suppose 17 people have 17 cars eh? and they will burn the fuels they will make the smoke and it will affect our environment but if all 17 people come in one bus then how much pollution we decreased so we should think about this okay so let's see the size of environmental problem we have seen Welcome guys to our channel HSC Bharat. Uh, today we are going to start a new series uh, which is environmental management certificate and this is also from Nibos. This series I am starting uh, as request by our viewer, subscriber and some of our friends that they want to do uh, training on the environmental management certificate they want to enhance their career also in this field and there is no institute who can who is uh, giving training for this for the nibos igc everybody is giving every institute you can find hundreds of uh, institutes who are giving the training but for environmental management very few and uh, whatever we have uh, they have they have costly and everything so for you guys i'm starting a new series in environmental management certificate especially for environmental professionals who want to enhance their knowledge by having nibo certification also uh, can enhance their career growth everything can be increased after getting this certificate this is a level 3 same like uh, nibo's igc but after this there is idp also uh, sorry nibo's environmental diploma also so you can go in that one okay so in this certificate there is a two unit the first one is amc1 which is environmental management same like nibosh igc and the another unit is amc2 which is called uh, assessing environmental aspects and associate impacts okay so let's move to our uh, course as this is you can see what is the in our course environmental management certificate two units are there as i told you and how many elements are there element one foundation in environment manager uh, environment management sorry uh, and element two environmental management system then we will learn element three uh, assessing environmental aspect and impact then there is element four planning for and dealing with environmental emergencies then element five control of emissions to air then element 6 control of environmental noise then element 7 control of contamination contamination of water sources then element 8 control of waste and land use then element 9 sources and use of energy and energy efficiency so these are the nine elements in this certificate we are gonna learn all of this step by step element 1 foundation in environmental management the base of the environmental management we will learn here this thing so what is the our learning outcomes in this one justify environmental management in the workplace using ethical legal and financial arguments okay so we need to so we will learn here how we can justify the management environmental management in workplace to our to the site management to the corporate management that we have to take these precautions as per environmental aspects okay so here we will learn this one and linking this to wider environmental issues including sustainable development okay so the second one recognize workplace activities which may be subjected to environmental legislation or enforcement so what are our learning objectives once you have read this element you will be able to forward explain the scope and nature of environmental management and key environmental issues so then you will be able to the scope and the nature of environment management key environmental issues okay then 
discuss the ethical, legal, financial reason for maintaining and promoting environmental management. Then we will know about the ethical, legal, financial reasons why we should maintain and promote environmental management. Okay, then summarize sustainability, its importance and its relationship with corporate social responsibility. Okay, then understand the influence of international agreements on national environmental laws and standards. Okay, what influence are there for international agreements on national environmental laws and standards and the potential consequences of non-compliance. So, there is a scope. So, we will, uh, I will not take your too much time. So, we will start from 1.1. The scope of scope and nature of environmental management. What are the scope and what are the natures of the environmental management? So the scope and nature of environment manager in this section, what we will do? Understanding and managing the environment requires knowledge of many topics, including what? Geography, geology, geology, hydrogeology, planning, public, health, social, pollution and pollution controls. Then we will learn barriers to good environmental management are what the complex nature of environment, conflict demands in, in organizations, difficulties in changing people's behavior. Then what uh, the what the next environmental impacts can be local, national or regional and international or global. Okay. Then some key environmental issues include like local pollution of noise, waste, lighting and odors, carbon emissions, climate change, loss of biodiversity, air pollution causing poor air quality, release of populants causing the protective ozone layer in the stratosphere to become depleted, land grabbing, use of fossil fuel, inappropriate disposal of waste, impact, occurring from poor agriculture practices okay so first we will know what are the definition what is definition of the environment what simple the environment is everything that surround us and anything your room your apartment your building your area your village your city your country everything comes environment okay then what are the points the physical resources of the earth including atmosphere water the land the raw materials any kind of raw materials then the living resources of animal plant life and human population everything what environment then Environmental management is concerned with understanding these elements, how they interrelate. A, the International Environmental Management System standards. There is a one standard, which is we all we probably we all knows about this ISO 14001 2015. What it defines the surrounding in which, as you can see here, the surrounding in which. <clears throat> what we have here the surrounding in which organization operates including air water land natural resources flora fauna humans and their interrelationship then surrounding can extend from within an organization to the local regional global system everywhere anywhere it can be interrelate then what are the definition for the natural resources what are the natural resources land raw material that occurs naturally in the environment what is flora flora is a plant or plant life and what is fauna fauna is a animal life then environmental media what are the environmental media air land and water 
what are the multidisciplinary nature of the environment manager so first we will look what is uh, some definitions what is geology study of the physical material that make up the earth and yani whatever is making the earth is a geology then what is hydrogeology hydrogeology study of the movement of ground water in the soil and rock which is called hydrogeology sociology ke what is sociology de? study of human social activity with this is sociology then what we will uh, read this paragraph environmental management clearly has a very broad scope it is a very wide very broad scope what one of fascination of studying environmental is breadth of topics and disciplines that are involved environmental management typically involves concept from scientific and technical disciplines like physical physics chemistry biology geology and engineering but it also has a social and political dimensions like town country planning health and legislation okay then in studying an environmental course such as this you will be given a general but not specialized understanding of wide variety of topics so this book also this course is also itself they are saying that you will have general knowledge not a specialist okay to be a specialist you should have this degrees like chemical engineer biological physics engineering anything you should ha- have this uh, depth knowledge of this one you should have background of this one so now we will uh, move forward what are the barriers barriers to good standard of environment ma- environmental manager management what are there see many of organization of all type and size successfully manage their env- environmental impact but we need to recognize at outset that broad scope of environmental manager poses a number of barrier for example what be, what are the example for uh, barriers complexity what is complexity organizations are complex with numerous environmental impacts such as waste generation disposal energy use emission to air discharge to water deciding which impact to address and how to achieve improvements require background knowledge of environmental impacts how they interact option for improvement and understanding of how to change process or procedure can affect business affect the business is also important okay so this is the complexity then what are what the next competing and conflict demands what are the conflict demands organization need to operate in an efficient and effective manner to deliver a right product everybody knows then or service to the customer on time and competitive price commercial companies need to make profit in order to survive yes of course if any company is they will not make profit then they will be die they will be solvent right or on insolvency they will be bankrupt so they so they will first they will see their own profit they will they doesn't care environment doesn't care safety nothing they will first what they look for profit only profit so that's why we have this code individual people in an organization may be driven by financial rather than environmental pressure all organization need to comply with applicable legislation there is often conflict between environment and health and safety for example protect workers from high dust level in the workplace dust is ventilated to the atmosphere it's not controlled may cause environmental problem also with plant being covered in dust or noises being caused by nearest region right or wrong 
देन बिहेवियरल इश्यू वट आर द बिहेवियरल इश्यू चेंजिंग अवे पीपल बिहेव इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिचुएशन इज वन ऑफ द मोर डिफिकल्ट थिंग टू अचीव दिस इज नॉर्मल दैट वी कैन नॉट चेंज द पीपल बिहेवियर हाउ यू विल चेंज वी विल चेंज पीपल बिहेवियर बाई गिविंग दम ट्रेनिंग अवेयरनेस लाइक दिस इन रिसेंट ईयर द कॉस्ट ऑफ फ्यूल जनरली रनिंग अ कार हेज इंक्रीज सिग्निफिकेंटली वाई येट पीपल आर स्टिल अनविलिंग टू गिव अप कार ओनरशिप एंड यूज दिस इज स्पाइट ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट पब्लिकिटी रिगार्डिंग द नेगेटिव एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑफ कार यूज फ्रॉम कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू क्लाइमेट चेंज डिक्रीज इन लोकल एयर क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड देन There is no different from attitude in the workplace. If we are to be successful in changing behavior pattern, we must prepare for it to take time, and we must provide people with good reason to change. And even we do anything. And how many cars we have? Everybody have at least one car nowadays in every family. And if we change, if we do not use this car, and we use the public transport. See how much pollution we can stop. How much pollution we can decrease if we use the public car. Suppose seventeen people have seventeen cars, eh? And they will burn the fuels. They will make the smoke, and it will affect our environment. But if all seventeen people come in one bus, then how much pollution we decreased? So we should think about this. Okay, so let's see the size of environmental problem. We have seen that the environment covers a wide range of issues and disciplines. We think about our own organization. We need to recognize that we can contribute to local, regional, global, and global environmental issues. The following figure illustrates this. How? See, dust. contamination of land noise fume drains this is local issues then this goes to river pollution low level of ozone layer then it will go to it will convert into regional and national issue how it will become marine pollution ozone depletion raw materials acid rain global warming co2 then it will be international issues so this is relationship between local national and environmental issues <clears throat> so next the various section of colors and we will not read this one so what are the next point local effect of pollution what are the local effect this can be include poor air quality due to pollution caused by high level of vehicle traffic local industries for example vehicle emit a mixture of gases particulate materials that can cause harm to environmental environment and damage human health so this will be two issues human health and also environment oxidizes of sulfur and nitrogen are often referred to so and no respectively no no can react with atmospheric gases in the presence of sunlight to produce harmful low level ozone okay then contaminated contaminated land from industrial process where spill accident have occurred leaving ground contam contam contaminated with pollutants such as heavy metals cad cadmium lead all the metals they put on the land nobody cares about them they just throw it anywhere this is also populating our lands then water pollution from accidentally spillage from industry and many places i by myself i saw they are throwing the uh, while changing the engine oil they are throwing it to land soil they are mixing and they are throwing anywhere so this is also 
polluting our land so what next pollution by noise odor and lights is becoming an increasing problem and all of these types of pollution are often controlled through the legislation It can be controlled but when the government is tight when government is strict they are strictly enforcing the people like as i am working in saudi arabia here the legislation is very good the government is very good you know why the government is strict and it is good to be strict because if the government will not be strict we will not follow the rules here as we are working in new there if there is a spill even there is a waste the general waste the team is asking the client team that where you put this waste and eh? then <coughs> the waste should be go to the recycle recycler supplier then he will recycle then he will send to somewhere else and also we need to show the proof that we gave to this supplier there is a approved supplier so we need to do this one okay and operating condition may also be imposed on business located in sensitive areas under planning ending planning law through industrial environment permits there is a many environmental permits like if you are going to start a a factory cement factory suppose cement factory so there you have to take a certificate from the government environmental department ministry that uh, this is your pollution level and uh, you should not uh, set your factory near the resident area you should be in avi wadi areas or any uh, empty area so the resident cannot be disturbed or their health cannot be affect so everything will be considered while giving the environmental permit okay so waste is oftenly often heavily regulated example under the waste framework directives 2008/98 ec in the european union this is because unregulated and uncontrolled disposal of waste can lead to spread of disease through contact with the waste itself and increase in numbers of vermin species such as rats which aid to spread of disease waste can also contaminated land and water yes of course if you will throw the whole waste on anywhere it will contaminate like the land <coughs> also the water like in india yamuna that the first the very dirtiest water in the yamuna now uh, it's good that government are taking initiative to clean the rivers in india because uh, the the all the rivers are get pop populent too much pop, uh, population uh, pollution are there sorry sorry i was talk <laughs> speaking populent uh, sorry it is pollute pollen okay <clears throat> pollution so what are the next carbon emission and climate change our topic focus is first climate change what is this the first decade of 21st century was the warmest on record and measurement was over the last 150 years so that the temperature of the atmosphere has increased by around 1 degree celsius the phenomena is commonly known as climate change okay there is now strong evidence that climate change is related to pollution of atmosphere through mechanism known as greenhouse effect what is the a greenhouse effect it is actually a natural phenomenon the sun irradiates the earth with energy and as earth warms it emit energy back to space as infrared radiation some of this radiation is observed by greenhouse gases that occur naturally in the atmosphere and primarily water vapor carbon dioxide and methane okay 
the effect of this reduced heat loss from the earth we were it not the greenhouse effect the temperature of the earth would be well zero degree celsius okay then like this we will see in the picture <coughs> see what is greenhouse effect then coming solar radiation 0.2 m and solar radiation reflected what happening here this is the earth this is atmosphere infrared radiation is going from here emitted by earth surface from 8 to 4 am and it is going here infrared radiation absorbed by greenhouse gases Outgo outgoing infrared radiation okay then the problem is that burning fossil fuel example coal oil gas petrol diesel which account for more than 80% of world energy consumption do you believe that release large quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere have consequently increased significantly during the past 50 years see how we are polluting our environment too much pollution we are spreading we need to think about this then and here is the level of carbon dioxide how the atmosphere are now believed to be artificially increasing the greenhouse effect leading to climate change what is so alarming about warmer planet sea level will rise primarily through the melting of polar ice caps this could result in widespread of coastal flooding then climate change the warming of earth is likely to trigger changes in earth climate this could potentially have very serious consequences for example major food producing areas might be begin to suffer drought reducing our ability to feed ourselves they are are also likely to be more extreme and disruptive weather such as high wind and floods so let's see this image <coughs> the main man made sources of carbon dioxide emissions and the greenhouse effect it reproducing courtesy mm -hmm. Cortis power. Okay. So what is here? See first. Let's see here. This is solar energy. Then ultraviolet lights. Heat re radiated back by the sun. Here you can see. Heat light hits the earth surface. Then how is going up? Infrared heat is coming back again. And as carbon dioxide. Level increase, more heat is trapped. Also, see the burning of fossil fuel, the vehicle exhaust, <laughs> power station and factory chimneys releasing significant amount of carbon dioxide. Deforesting and change land use reduces natural absorption in carbon dioxide. If we reduce this, where it will go? It will go up. it will increase the temperature of our atmosphere then ship burning fossil fuel also the aeroplane carbon dioxide released by aircraft then water evaporates as to heat heat trap heat trap by greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide the white one is the greenhouse gases then what the next <coughs> what we can do to reduce fossil fuel burning to reduce fossil fuel burning mainly power station and road vehicle we must reduce energy consumption example improve insulation double glazing attention to heating and ventilation turning light off then increasing efficiency of energy use how through best practice in the operation of plant process use of fuel efficient vehicle diesel give about 30% better performance than petrol 
पेट्रोल डीजल व्हीकल बट जनरली एमिट मोर एयर पॉपुलर टू एटमोसफियर तो वी कैन ओके इट इज गिविंग परफॉर्म थर्टी परसेंट बट इट इज एमिट मोर पॉपुलर देन यूज अल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी सोर्सेज लाइक विंड पावर न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी ओके एंड ऑल्सो राइट नाउ देर इज अ न्यू एनर्जी ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन दिस एनर्जी द सऊदी अरेबियन न्यू कंपनी इज दे आर मेकिंग प्लान फॉर दिस एंड दे आर ऑल द न्यू सिटी विल बी रन ऑन दिस ग्रीन एयर विंड टर्वाइन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड देन बर्न फ्यूल विच रिलीज लेस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लाइक नेचुरल गैस मिथेन प्रोड्यूस मोर देन ट्वाइस एज मच एनर्जी पर के जी एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मेक अप ओनली सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ कंबेशन प्रोडक्ट कंपेयर विद कोल सी हाउ मच इज रिड्यूसिंग देन क्लाइमेट चेंज ग्रीन हाउस मैनेजमेंट हाईलाइट की वट आर द क्लाइमेट चेंज ग्रीन हाउस हाईलाइट की आई एम ई Publication pathway to net zero using the IMEs GSG management hierarchy advocates the use of hierarchy of control of greenhouse gases emission hierarchy is as follow mm -hmm. first eliminate what we can do to eliminate influence business decision to use prevent greenhouse gases emission across the life cycle. then potential exist when organization change expand rationalize or move business transition to new business model alternative operation or new product service okay <coughs> then how we can reduce real or relative per unit reduction of carbon and energy efficiency in operation process late energy management optimize approaches like technology digital and as enabler then what are the substitute substitute adopt renewable low carbon technologies on site transport reduce carbon greenhouse gases intensity of energy use and <coughs> energy purchased purchase input and service with lower embedded embedded emissions then compensate how we compensate compensate is unavoidable residual emission removal offsets etc investigate land management value chain asset sharing carbon credits support climate actions and developing carbon markets beyond the carbon neutral okay so what is the biodiversity loss <coughs> Biodiversity diversity is simply diversity or variety of plants, animals, and other living things in particular area or region. Diversity within the natural environment is important. The earth's biological resources are vital to economic and social development because they provide us sustainable material, maintain the quality of air, soil, water, and climate, contribute to our health and enjoyment of life. Estimate of global species diversity vary enormously as it is difficult to estimate how many species there may be in less well explored habitats such as untouched rainforest rainforest areas that have been sampled have shown a very high level of biodiversity extinction in fact of life however spice 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 spices are now becoming extinct at an alarming rate how almost entirely a direct result of human activities previous mass extinction evident in the geological record are thought to have been brought about mainly by massive the climate or environmental shift prediction and estimates of future species loss abound 
one such estimate calculates that a quarter or of all spies on earth like uh, to be extinct or on the way to think within 30 years <coughs> then air po pollution and ground level ozone the main cause of air pollutants are vehicle exhaust emissions and industrial activities vehicle emit a mixture of gases particularly material that can cause to harm what and human health oxidize of sulfur and nitrogen which is we call SO and NO respectively NO can react with atmospheric gases in the presence of sunlight to produce harmful low level ozone while we need the ozone in a stratosphere part of the atmosphere at low attitude where people live it is a poisonous gas the same SO and NO gas can also combine with moisture with atmosphere to produce dilute sulfuric or nitric acid falling as so called acid rain which cause damage to building especially many older buildings that are made from materials such as marble and limestone then first was the ground level ozone and the second is air pollution at ozone layer what is the life of an earth is protected from the damaging effect of ultraviolet radiation by layer of ozone molecules which we can consider as O3 in the lower stratosphere between 15 to 20 km above the earth surface ozone absorbs ultraviolet radiation one of the major goals is skin cancer certain chemicals ozone depleter can destroy the ozone layer then although ozone has depleted in other regions <coughs> what ozone depletion is most traumatic over the polar region due to particular upper atmospheric condition and continent size hole has developed over Antarctica most ozone depleter are chemically stable compound containing the halogen elements chlorine bromine these compounds are heavy typically used as refrigerant gases as propellant for aerosol sprays <coughs> as foam blowing agents, as solvent, fire fighting system, chlorofluorocarbons, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, carbon tetrachloride and tetrachlorothene halons. What next? <coughs> Now see, these ozone depleting compounds are very stable and if they released by human activities, they can persist and change in the atmosphere until they drift upward to reach the ozone layer in the stratosphere. At this altitude, the compound are exposed to high level of ultraviolet radiation, which hibernates change chlorine bromine atoms from the parent molecule these charged atoms are known as free radicals and highly reactive chlorine and bromine free radicals are able to react with the with and break down ozone molecules in variety of ways for example a chlorine free radical reacts with ozone to produce chlorine monoxide and molecular oxygen and the chlorine monoxide so formed may then react to the break down the more ozone like this international agreement especially the montreal protocol see later in the element 
uh, are in place to curb the process of use of ozone depleter. Then, all, but unfortunately, even if all ozone depleters were banned today, the chlorine molecules already in atmosphere would continue to affect stratospheric ozone levels at least a century. See depletion of ozone layer, how it depletes. ultraviolet radiation is coming ozone hole with reduction of thinning of ozone layer increased level of ultraviolet <coughs> atronic region the damage effect on ozone depleting chemicals above earth anthratic region is more pronounced because of particular upper upper atmosphere condition found here ultraviolet radiation interfere with the photosynthesis plant then blown polystyrene from factory aerosol can use cfc propellants propellants air conditioning cfc used in refrigeration cfc leakage increased exposure to ultraviolet rays can lead to skin damage here growth of oceanic phytoclathon reduce affecting food sources for high higher life norms then sources of gas halogenated hydrocarbon including CFC chloro fluorocarbons used in air conditioning and blowing polystyrene foam manufacturing rise through atmosphere you can see how it's affecting only 10 to 15 kilometers these are affecting 15 to uh, 20, till 25 kilometer these are affecting and above this these three so you see the chart now <coughs> then let's start the water resources What is essential resources and recycled naturally in the environment through the hydrological cycle? As shown in the figure, the, dam the demand of water is increasing due to increase of po population and amount of water used by individuals, especially in the case developed countries where water is in plentiful and cheap resources. See how. Little hydro cycle how it's coming precipitation is going down runoff groundwater then ocean evaporation air again condition clouds again <coughs> because this cycle there can be an accumulation of populants through Water catchment making prevention population particular what is the water catchments areas of land that drain water from rain so snows etc into single water bodies such as river and tributaries. Water can be populated where directly by discharging to river lake point sources indirectly run off from land particularly contaminated lands deposition of airborne populants non-point sources into water courses <coughs> then water quality can be adversely affected by number of types of populant pollutants such as nutrients organic waste immiscible liquids sediments flow rate changes pathogens temperature changes Harmful chemicals, acidity. Okay, so these points I told you, you have to read this one now again. 
play otherwise the video will be more lengthy okay so let's see some definition what is eutrophication excessive plant growth in water caused by addition of nutrients resulting in depletion of oxygen and water quality in water course <coughs> okay organic class of chemical compound based on carbon usually in close material of derived from animals and plants biological oxygen in demand a laboratory produce procedure for determining the amount of oxygen needed by organi organism to break down organic material in water this is called biological oxygen demand what is photosynthesis the process that plants and algae algae used to convert sunlight carbon sunlight and carbon dioxide into energy food chain <coughs> represent the food relation between organism organism and spice in an ecosystem for example phytoplankton tiny marine plant like or organism which manufacture their own food using light are eaten by fish which are eaten by larger fish which are eaten by humans this is called food chain what is flow rate volume of water passing through the river over a set period of time this is flow rate everybody so what is ocean pollution significant issues includes discharge of nitrates and for phosphate causing oxygen depletion plastic pollution ocean acidification as a result of carbon dioxide absorption we will cover this in more detail later what definition some definition deforestation deforestation soil erosion and land quality we will read now this one biosphere the part of earth and its atmosphere in which living things are found ecosystem refers to community interrelated species in defined area See. the world forest has major influence on biosphere Defor deforestation is removal of trees from large areas land example amazon basin in south africa can lead number of negative environmental environmental impact how <coughs> deforestation can and contribute to climate change following waste burning and decay of wood leaves carbon dioxide into atmosphere trees and other plants photosynthesis these are removing carbon dioxide from atmosphere to reproduce oxygen they thereby reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide level if large forests are removed less carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere the water cycle can significantly affected treated ground water through the roots which is emitted into the atmosphere when deforestation occurs the lack of trees other plants mean that were not in water that were in means that water is not evaporated and local climates are much drier the chosen of soil is reduced by deforestation resulting in fertile agriculture soil being eroded increased risk of landslides on steep slopes a reduction of forest cover means that surface water of water runoff will increase which may result flash flood and increase risk of localized flood compared with what would occur if forest cover the present deforestation can result in decreasing biodiversity can lead to reduction of genetic variation variation genetic variation can lead to many ag agriculture benefits such as development of crops resistant to pests have have the ability to grow in poor quality soil forest often certain many plants that are discovered by some of which properties that can be used to fight disease in health see there is a two pictures forested slope and deforested slope in first let's see 
in the uh, this one what is doing 100% red hits ground high speed dislodging soil then soil exposed to sun hardens and less inflation capacity then runoff process soil down slope then fast flow into reverse extreme cause sitting flooding ground level of water it will not be there okay and let's see here <coughs> 20 to 40 percent evaporate from plants. Three cycle carbon, uh, three cycle carbon dioxide, oxygen, carbon oxygen. Three reduce speed rain. Three roots bind the soil. 60 to 80 percent reach rain reach to the ground. Leaf litter increases increases the organic matters on the on on and in the soil. Rain soaks slowly into the ground. High ground water level. This is the benefit. Okay. This is the benefits. This is loss. Let's see. <coughs> Although the short term economic gains can be made from converting forested area to agriculture land or overly exploit forest for, for wood products if forests are not managed sustainably in long term deforestation will lead to the loss of long term income shifting cultivation what is this slash and burn agriculture disturb the forest ecosystem Particularly when it is on large scale, trees are cut from the soil, burned, and ashes return. Any nutrients are quickly leached away as they are contained only the top few centimeters of the soil in tropical forest. Therefore, cleared plots soon become infertile. <coughs> Material resources and land depolation. Access to land is vital to ensure availability of food to secure the livelihood of poor rural population. Land grabbing involves taking land for another use such as intensive agriculture practice like palm oil production. This means that indigenous people, nomads, etc. have no, have no access to food and livelihood security such as such activities will also capture water resources meaning that people will now have no access to drinking water also the hours news and lesson will what will do land grabbing is often known sustainable model of land use which cause forest eviction may seriously affect the environment example change in land use use pesticides pesticide excessive water use and of biodiversity sustain uh, sustain substantially reduce natural resources <coughs> then unequal distribution impact and supply chain what is supply chain the chain of people activities operation organization that are brings a product service to the customer it could involve for example those extra raw material transport made to manufacture manufacture component parts manufacture final product and it's come to the customer this is called supply chain okay <coughs> a result of globalization the product manufacture is often concentrated in one specific region and resulting product is shipped to the other countries as a result the impact are not ev evenly distributed as the country where the product is consumed not having cope with the impact of its manufacture some of organization have limited environmental impact but their supply chain impact such as how their products are grown and manufactured can be significant 
let's see energy supplies <coughs> fossil fuels are attractive as energy sources being highly concentrated they allow significant amount of energy to be trapped in relatively small volume they also allow to easy distribution however the ad adverse environmental impacts resulting from combustion fossil fuel are significant include acid rain smog boiling resources health and welfare deforestation climate change thermal pollution innovation in food and fuel what are the innovation in innovative practice across the supply chain could significantly increase sustainability of food and fuel fuel production change across the supply chain how reproduction include genetic resources improvement agriculture practice agriculture inputs then production including growing harvesting food loss management supply chain processing storage transport wholesaling retailing market access consumption including cooking eating waste food waste management this is the source is from farming for innovation sustainable waste disposal and international waste treat what is this <coughs> the inappropriate storage treatment transport and disposal of waste can have numerous environmental impacts including land contamination water pollution air pollution exposure of people to harmful substances Historically numerous serious issue have occurred where waste has been exported from developing country to one of that has no facility to treat dispose of the waste in the in a manner that does not impact significantly on the environment and human health <coughs> an international law has therefore been developed to control international waste trade the basel convention of control trans boundary movement of hazardous waste and their disposal required the exporters of hazardous waste receive written consent from importing nation prior to the waste being transported and amendment 1929 added certain types of mixed container plastic waste of convention various developing countries have gone further and banned import of wasting through their own policy then legislation then agricultural issues arising from global trade a result of globalization poor environmental practices can result from food other products being grown in country for export to other countries commonly trade between developing and developed countries such as issues include clearing of forests swamp plants for grass crop using water for irrigating crops water watering animal that would be otherwise used to by local population use harmful pesticide that may affect biodiversity health of local population soil erosion leading loss of fertile soil the reduction in downstream water quality fertilizer runoff leading to poor water quality creation of poorly managed landfill facilities to agriculture sites one example where such trade many environmental and other issues is global trade in palm oil palm oil is produced from the oil palm trees and grown in countries in south east asia central and west africa central america it is exported to use a wide range of products such as food stuff personal care products biofuel however it has some significant impacts on environment such as driving deforestation 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 being a key causes of demise of critically endangered endangered species such as sumatran orga orgotan and asian rhinoceros and destroying gas crops that are owned by indigenous people so in this section we have some question list the three media that make us environment brief explain the terms greenhouse effect and global warming 
I need answer all these two question and comment. Please answer it. So you will be able to write in your exam light. And if you like this video and it, it is good, please like this video, subscribe and share. Thank you.